WTFNN. Headline news update. Hi, everyone. Basil Chapman here at the TFNN Noon Update. I'm the uh, host of the Tiger Technicians Hour coming up after this update, waiting for the lift, the LYFT IPO should be coming out. We're looking at the Dow up 131 at 25,848, stuck between the trading range. You can see this wedge formation has resistance just at about 26,000, sorry, 25,990s. And very important support in this trend line right here, 25,490s. And at this particular point, We'll be watching to see where it closes because this is the month of March's close, the last day, last few hours, and there's that candle. So far, I've saved the day with uh, not a doji candle, but at least an upper move to the to the uh, candles intramonth high towards the high. That's good so far, and we're watching for Monday to see if there's some kind of weakness coming into the early part of April. Next thing we want to look at is the S&P and the S&P at this point. So the Dow is up 0.45%. The S&P is up 0.34. It is at 28.25. It is also making this, trying to make a cup formation, but it's right at the point where it could be making an arch. So this is going to be very important. And I mentioned that only because the technicals are not really giving the veracity, giving the confirmation of this up move. The QQQ, the NDX 100, uh, trading up 0.88. At 179.18, I would say that if it goes to the 180.60, 181 area by Monday, Tuesday, that is good action. Right now, the technicals are not great, and the price is struggling a little bit. So that's that. The IWM has been one of the weaker indices, and it's only at 0.07 right now. It's up 10 cents at 152.71, not showing very much strength at all. Nice little bounce, but it needs to get into the 154.80 area to really show that it's got strength to go on higher. Let's look at gold. Gold had a very sharp move down on uh, Thursday. Today it's coming back a little bit. It's up for 1300 and it hit the 200. Remember, we we're talking about this 200 period moving average, the orange line on the left side, daily chart, weekly chart. That's resistance, 1316. And what we are looking at is to see how does how does gold hold the 1291 area and the dollar had an early move very sharply higher. Now it's it's kind of good. It's down just two cents, but it's had a very good comeback at 97.21. I'll talk more about this all when we get back for my Tiger Technicians Hour. Otherwise, have a great weekend. See you Monday. <laughs>